Can you retire on $500,000? We'll stick around in this video and we'll tell you if you can. In today's episode of Ask Team FG, Carlo and I are going to be discussing how likely is it that a Canadian can retire on $500,000 of investments. It's become a pretty important topic of conversation within our client base um, just to see whether it's feasible or not. And there's a lot of noise out there that it's at least a million dollars that people need, maybe a million five. Is it possible to do a 500000 So, Carlo, why don't you get us started? Thanks, John. Yes, this is a question that we get in every meeting. I mean, that's what we are. We're retirement planners, yeah. so it makes sense. Uh, I think from our perspective, the idea is, well, how do you want to retire? What, mm -hmm. what are you going to be spending? And then trying to determine what your income sources are going to be in retirement. So if it's 500000 750 a million, 250, whatever that is, it's going to help determine what your retirement's going to be. So we have to think about income sources. Mm -hmm. uh, in Canada, uh, you have your government benefits. Yep. And that would be your Canada pension plan if you've been contributing. Uh, that'll be old age security. Depending on how long you've lived in the country, you'll be uh, eligible for it. And then on top of those two, if you worked at a, in, in your career, at a company that has a defined benefit pension plan. You can have that on top of your CPP and old mm -hmm. age security. So you've got a couple of income sources to rely on in retirement. And then we're talking about a portfolio. So let's call it $500,000 in assets. So if you've been fortunate enough to be able to contribute all to CPP, so you can expect about $1,400, $1,500 a month. So that's $18,000 for the year. Old age security is about $7,500 to $8,000. So what, what's that? About six hundred. You said eight thousand. Eight thousand. Yeah, about eight thousand. Thanks. <laughs> uh, eight thousand and the eighteen thousand. There's about twenty-five, twenty-six thousand dollars for an individual. Call it household. That's fifty thousand dollars of income. Um, if you don't have a pension, now you have to rely on your portfolio. Typically, we use mm -hmm. a four yep. percent uh, withdrawal rate on five hundred thousand dollars. That's twenty thousand dollars. So that's. $50,000 from CPP old age security and $20,000 from your portfolio. There's $70,000 there before tax. Absolutely. And, and like you mentioned before, everyone's going to be a little bit different. So if you're able to live off of $70,000 um, and you, you know, it all comes down to what you spend your money on. If $70,000 is a sufficient amount of uh, income for you, then absolutely. You know, retirement uh, seems like a no brainer, but there is a lot of other factors that you probably need to consider leading up to retirement. And the first one being very important is making sure you're debt free. First of all, heading into retirement, um, you know, you can have a $500,000 portfolio, but if you're still spent spending $2,000 a month on a mortgage or a line of credit uh, or what have you, you know, that $70,000 probably isn't going to cut it anymore because all your hard earned money or, or uh, pension money is now going to paying interest from the bank, right? So the, there are very important factors there that you need to consider. And, and that's one of the things that we always talk about with our clients, making sure you're absolutely debt free when leading into retirement. One of the things that I mentioned, or one of the tips I mentioned to my clients when we're building the plan is figure out what your expenses are now. Mm. And if you're sa uh, satisfied with that level of expense uh, for your lifestyle. If that's the case, likely when you retire, you won't have the debt on top of it. So you can just project out what your living expenses are now into retirement, and we can build around that to determine what your income should be. So in the example we used, $50,000 from the uh, CPP OAS and $20,000 from your portfolio, that's seventy. dollars call it uh, $10,000, $15,000 in, in income tax, you're left with fifty-five, sixty thousand dollars $60,000 in after-tax income to live. If you're living on four and a half to five thousand dollars after tax a month for your living, there you have it. Absolutely, and and on top of that too, you mentioned income taxes. The government's put in certain things in place to help uh, retirees with their income tax, whether that be you know the age uh, age amount um, uh, tax credit, uh, the pension credit as well. The, the fact that you're able to split income between spouses. There's a lot of different tools in there that you are able to have as a retiree and and uh, you know to reduce that taxable income that you would pay. Therefore, keeping more of that money in your pocket and, and allowing you to spend it on what you need. So, can you live on five hundred thousand dollars in retirement? Depends on what your other income sources are, but if you have $500,000, you're going to have to learn to live within that uh, income level. Absolutely. So let us know down in the comment section below, uh, are you planning on retiring with around $500,000 in your portfolio? And if you have any other questions about that, you can always reach out to our office directly and we'd be happy to help you out with it. But until next time, I'm John Iaconetti. I'm Carlo Cancino. And this has been STMFG. STMFG.